Hello, Gold Class Monkeys! I hope you guys had a really great weekend. I hope you got to spend some time outside. It snowed again, but at my house, the snow is mostly melted away. Um, I'm looking forward to another week of getting to read you stories and sending activities for learning and fun to your moms and dads so you can keep learning at home. Um, it's going to be a great week. Uh, today I have a couple of stories to read to you about a certain animal that begins with the letter U. If you remember, we learned about the letter U before uh, spring break, before we left class, and um, we learned two sounds for letter U, a uh, as in up and under, and then we learned the sound U as in unicorn and unique. So today I am reading stories about unicorns. This one is called A Unicorn Named Sparkle. This is by Amy Young. Here we go. The ad said unicorn, 25 cents. A unicorn for a quarter. That's really good. Lucy sent in the money. She could hardly wait. I will name him Sparkle. He will be blue with a pink tail and a pink mane. She is so excited. A whole day passed. I will put flowers around his neck and he will let me ride on his back. Another day passed. I will take him to show and tell and everyone will love him. He might be scared when he first gets here. I will give him a cupcake. Sparkle, Sparkle, where are you? Finally, a big truck rumbled up. It was the unicorn man. He left a large box on the porch. It's Sparkle! So on the side of the box, it says live animal, this side up, and all these are holes to let the air in. From inside the box, she hears, bah. Hmm. Lucy opened the box carefully, gently, chomp. The cupcake was gone. Sparkle, come back. Sparkle, not the underpants. No. Sparkle likes to eat things. He was not what she expected. He had spots, his ears were too long, and he smelled funny. Oh, and he had fleas. Lucy put a flower necklace on him, and he ate it. She put a tutu on him. He ate that too. He did not want to be ridden. He bucked her right off. He did not want to go to show and tell. She's trying with all her might, pulling and pushing. He doesn't want to go. And when he got there, he behaved poorly. Bah! Lucy was mad. You are a bad unicorn. She walked away. Sparkle followed her. Stop that. She is angry at Sparkle. Why do you think Sparkle is not a good unicorn? Any ideas? Lucy called the unicorn man. Take him back. I don't want him. Okay, but I can't get there until tomorrow. Lucy could hardly wait. Leave me alone. He's trying to play ball with her. And now he licks her. Yuck! I think Sparkle likes Lucy. That night, there was a storm. Sparkle was afraid. Lucy gave him Bear Bear so he would stop pestering her. It wasn't enough. She had to read him a bedtime story, too, and give him warm milk to drink. Wah! He's very sad and scared. 
He licked her hand. She patted his head and said, Don't be such a big baby. His fur was very soft. At last, he fell asleep. He's got Bear Bear. The next morning, Lucy watched Sparkle play in the yard. He liked the butterflies, and they liked him. Some boys came by, came by and asked, What's your goat's name? His name is Sparkle, and he is not a goat. He looks like a goat. Well, he is not a goat. He is a special kind of unicorn. What do you think? Is he a goat, or is he a special kind of unicorn? After the boys left, Lucy watched Sparkle play some more. She had to admit, sometimes he made her smile, and sometimes he made her laugh. The unicorn man drove up. Okay, let's load him in. Sparkle did not want to get into the box. He wanted to stay with Lucy. Lucy put a cupcake in the far corner. Sparkle loved cupcakes, so he went in. Lucy shut the door. Sparkle asked, Bear? The unicorn man revved his engine and drove away. Lucy yelled, Wait! Sparkle bleated, the truck stopped. Lucy opened the box and Sparkle jumped out. He was so excited that he knocked her down by mistake. Sparkle, said Lucy. Welcome home. Aw, that's a nice ending to a unicorn named Sparkle. All right, I have another unicorn story for you. This one is called Unicorn Thinks He's Pretty Great by Bob Shea. And if that's the only name on the front, it means he wrote the story and drew the pictures. So this is Unicorn. Do you know what animal this is? Let's see. There's the unicorn. Things are a lot different around here since that unicorn moved in. I thought I was pretty cool when I rode my bike to school. Until that show-off went flying by. Or the time I made marshmallow squares that almost came out right. made it rain cupcakes. Then at the big talent show, I was dropping my signature dance moves. When he steps up with some serious prancing and wins first prize. Those are all the unicorns dance moves. That's not all. It gets much, much worse. Check out this great magic trick that I totally invented. Okay, close your eyes. Keep them closed. Ta-da! While your eyes were closed, I pulled this quarter out from behind your ear. Nice, right? Well, when I get to school to try it out, he's turning stuff into gold. I can't follow that. Bing! 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 Everything he touches with his magic wand turns to gold. That would be so cool. Dopey Unicorn thinks he's so great. How can anyone be friends with that guy? Look at me. I'm Unicorn. I think I'm so cool. Blah, 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 blah. Well, this goat's not buying it. Great, here he comes. It's another story with a goat in it. 
And this goat does not like that unicorn. What is that heavenly smell? Goat cheese pizza? I'm a goat. What? Goats have cheese? Unicorns don't have cheese. May I try? That's true. I've never heard of unicorn cheese. This cheese is fantastic. So creamy and delicious. It's also good smeared on a tin can or sprinkled on some garbage. Lucky, I can only eat glitter and rainbows. Darn my sensitive stomach. Whoa, what's up with your hooves? Those things are out of control. Oh, these? These bad boys are cloven. It means they're split at the end. So you can see his hooves look different than the unicorn's hooves. They let me stand on steep hills or climb the tops of mountains. Oh, man, I can't stand there or climb those stupid regular hooves. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just look at your fantastic horn. That thing is nuts. Eh, it's just for show. All it's good for is pointing. I'll have that one. He's pointing at the donuts at the donut store. I can't play soccer. One headbutt and it's game over. Pain in the neck, horn. Look what happened to the soccer ball. Not you, though. I bet those awesome horns are perfect for soccer. I have an idea. With your magic and my awesomeness. We'd be an unstoppable team. And they're imagining if they work together as superheroes. Trouble at the bank. Since Unicorn flies, he's going to take Goat with him. And they show up at the bank. Taste my cloven justice. Pow! You've been Unicorn! He's got him by the underwear. Those bad guys didn't know that they, they were going to be meeting up with Super Goat and Super Unicorn. Nice, right? Haya, whoop, ha! Sure, or we can go to the park and play. That's a good idea too. You know something, Unicorn? I had a feeling we'd be friends. Did Goat really think they were going to be friends at the beginning? He kind of didn't like Unicorn. But once he got to know him and realized that, yep, Unicorn was pretty cool in his own way, but Goat had his own reasons and he, to be cool. And so they were each cool in their own way. And then they were able to be friends. That's the story of Unicorn. Thinks he's pretty great. I got both of those stories from the library, and I will be taking them back when we are able to go back to the library. So you can look for those if you want to read them at home yourself. All right. I hope you like the unicorn stories today for the letter U. U. Oh, and U. Um, I have another, um, let's see, uh, later on, I'm going to have another special a video that I'm going to do for the letter U. So wait and see. All right, time for me to wish you guys well. Ready? I wish you well. I wish you well. All through the day today, I wish you well. Bye, gold class friends. I miss you. I love you.